Welcome to another Tech Tuesday video. Today's video is Gmail Quick Tips Part 2, Organize Your Gmail. Tech Tuesdays are brought to you by Delt, a project of Propel. In today's video, we'll review how to use categories and labels, how to prioritize important emails, and how to search for an email. You can use categories and labels to organize your emails. Gmail has four default categories, social, updates, forums, and promotions. When you receive an email, the software will make a best guess about which folder it should go to. If it misplaces an email, you can move it to the correct tab by clicking and holding the email to drag it to the correct place. You can also right click on the email and select move to tab and pick the correct tab. Labels allow you to sort your email into customized folders. To create a new label, click the plus sign to the right of labels. Name your label and select create. To assign an email to a label, click and hold the email to drag it to the desired label. You can also right click on the email, select label as and check the desired label in the box that pops up to the right. You can further customize labels by hovering over the label, clicking on the three dots, and selecting a label color or changing the label settings. If you are worried about losing or forgetting about an important email, Gmail has a few tools to help you prioritize important messages. Starring and marking an email as important can help highlight selected emails. To star an email, just click on the star to the left of the checkbox. Starring an email marks it as a top priority and places a copy of that email in your starred folder. Next to the star, you can mark an email as important. This adds the email chain to your important folder. You can set up your inbox to present important messages first by going into your settings gear and toggling the inbox type to important first. Then any messages you marked as important will be listed at the top. You can snooze an email to get a reminder notification at a later time. Just click on the clock at the end of the email line and select the time you would like a notification to remind you. You can also add an email to your task list by right clicking on the email and selecting add to task list. In the settings, you can set the date and time you would like to complete or follow up with this email. The search bar at the top of the screen is a great tool for finding specific emails that may be buried in your inbox. Open the search options to explore the filters you can use to help narrow your search. If you remember who the email was from, you can use their email or name to search for it. If you remember any keywords from the subject line or the body of the email, you can enter those as well. This allows you to narrow the search for the email that you're looking for. Another useful filter is the has attachments button down at the bottom. If I know that I'm looking for a form that Jamie sent out, I can search from Jamie with an attachment. Then I can even go in and tell it what kind of attachments to look at. That way I can find the exact email that I'm looking for as quickly as possible.